and Colleen Quigley will be in the 3K. It'll be Colleen Quigley's first race after announcing she's no longer with the Bowerman Track Club. Gordon, so that's a pretty quick, pretty quick turnaround. Made the announcement yesterday on Thursday, and then on Saturday, she'll be racing against her old team. A little bit of a twist to the race. Not that they really worked. They didn't really work together before. Remember indoors in 2019 when it was just Houlihan, Schweizer, and Quigley going at it, battling each other time and time again? They they are so good that they have to learn to be competitive with each other. So her not being on the team I don't think is going to change that that dynamic one bit. Do we know why Quigley left? Yeah, you didn't. There was a whole thing. About, no. <laughs> well, she probably didn't no. say I mean, why. We know right? it's. We know as much as we always know, which is not much. All right, so they let's, seemed on good terms. Let's they guess. seemed on good terms. What's what's a, what's a reason? Let's come up with reasons. Reasons. Here's here's a podcast segment. Reasons why two guys who have no information think <laughs> Colin Quigley left the Bowerman Track Club. Yeah. Reason number one. She uh, doesn't want to live in Portland anymore. You think that's what, what, I'm going to come up with the reasons the rain, and you have to rain, give me on one. a scale. I'm going to come up with reasons and you have to give me on a scale of one to 10, how likely that could be true. 10 being it's hundred percent are... true. Zero being it's never, it's definitely not a reason. Okay. Here I'll start. Okay, Let me start all the blazers being hurt. One to 10. What do you think? That's why she left They're playing Portland. Yeah, maybe she's frustrated because Yusuf Nurkic can't get on the court. Zach Collins, is he's got a lot of promise, but the guy okay. can't stay healthy. And then Dame was just a final straw. McCollum's missed a ton of time. I, I love your, your way to, like, integrate NBA here, but it makes no sense. This, this okay. but my podcast said one. That'll be a one. Sense. I'm going to come one. up with reasons, and you'd say on one tip. She doesn't want to live in Portland anymore due to uh, maybe – of relationship somewhere else or family or something. She just wants to leave Portland. 10 is greater likelihood and one is no likelihood. Yeah. Or it had less influence. I'll give that one a three. Okay. So you probably think she's staying in Portland then. Okay. Number two. Well, no, that does no, 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 no. As to a reason as why, to why she left. Okay. So you that, think the, that the, could mean the, that she the would city leave. had nothing to do with it. City had I don't do think it. so. I don't okay. think so. I'll give it a three. Uh, not her, her coach. Coach success with coach. I mean, can't two? be because she's yeah she's one point five the coach. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, wishing to have a new sponsor. New sponsorship Six. opportunity. Six. Okay. So Eight. Gonna... Eight. Do you think she'll leave I just Nike? changed. <laughs> I think a lot of people's contract was up at the end of the year, and they tested the waters. So, I mean, she might stay She might stay with Nike. Um, she might not. But I want to know. I don't know. I've heard a lot of things about – like the, how contracts are structured, but you never get any confirmation. So I'll just, yeah, I'll say, I'll go, I'll split the difference. I'll say seven there. I did a six and an eight. I'll say seven. Okay. How about this one? Mm hmm. Drama. Uh, they can take it uh, anyway. <laughs> just drama. Just, just drama in general. Um, yeah. Three. I don't yeah. think that's. Okay. I think people, professionals, are motivated by their ability to race, right? So th being healthy and getting opportunities to race and being compensated a fair amount, what they determine a fair amount for their, their services. And then quality of life is on there as well, too. But All right. I have a few more uh, or one more. Maybe okay. Two. All right. Courtney Freer. You're squeezing it. Courtney Frerix. No, one. Nope. I don't. One. Be are you saying because she's a, a competitor in the steeple? Yeah. And if you ever want to beat her, maybe you should stop training with her. 
So I feel like if you want to beat her, see, Carisha Swizer's evidence of this. If you want to beat Shelby Houlihan, train with Shelby Houlihan. It worked. Yeah, it worked. I true. feel like unless she's going to go train with Emma Coburn or an international steepler, I think it's it's helpful to have somebody there. All right, here's one. Uh, wanting to do something different. So that could be a different event or it could be like, hey, I I enjoyed my time uh, running and I've had great successes, but I have other personal aspirations that are separate from running. And I want to be able to focus more on that type of stuff. And you can't do that if you're part of the Baron Track Club because being part of the Baron Track Club means you're, you live, breathe, and sleep, you know, you know, focusing on running. And maybe she wants to make running a secondary thing and focus on other potential, you know, yeah. job opportunities. Or I mean, to, to phrase it a different way, she wants to have more flexibility because when you're yeah. – in a group and that's the there are a lot of people who do it themselves you know they become pro and they're basically training solo or with a couple of people but they can kind of drop in and drop out that's not the vibe i get from the bowerman track club the vibe i get is you're you're all the way in on it yeah. so i yeah i could see that someone being like hey i want a little bit more flexibility to do to do different things my plan is i'm still a runner first but i also want to be able to do these other things i'll give that one a a 6.5 on that one yeah i'm trying i'm trying to get to what can i say that i'll get you to i'm trying to get a 10 out of you well i don't know so it's never going to be a 10 until i ask her the question when i ask her the question and she says hey it's because the weather in portland then i can say 10 for that one but I think combination wanting to do something new, wanting more flexibility, and also if I'm sure there's a financial component because there's a financial component to everything. Because if they, if if she said, if she went to the head up, head of Nike and said, "Hey, I want to leave the Bowerman Track Club," and they said, "Hey, no, how about we give you a million dollars a year?" I think that would change your mind because that would change everybody's mind. So there's always a, there's always a a financial component to these things. Um, it wouldn't even need to be a million dollars probably, but yeah, you're doing a good job so, of speculating. 